I hate you guys. <laughs> Welcome to Curiosity Public. My name's Dutch. My name's Jules. Deferential Dillon. <laughs> Make sure you get the new graphic. And welcome to our final round of our first iteration of our tequi- best tequila series, the mm. best extra Añejo tequila. It's missing. That's right. So we're sticking with the same brands that we started with, with our Blanco. Blanco. And again, like I said, we're going to do a second round with new brands and everything like that. But uh, you'll notice there's only four bottles here. Whereas with all the other videos, we've had five bottles. That's because Fortaleza does not make an Extra Añejo. So for our first round Extra Añejo blind challenge, there are only four competitors. What do we got? The same brands minus Fortaleza. There you go. Arete. uh, This is the Gran Clase Extra Añejo. El Tesoro. Extra Añejo. Now, El Tesoro does make the Paradiso, which is a more expensive version. We went on to kind of keep it with the base versions, again, to cover different price ranges. And um, we thought it would be a little more fair to include this one. Uh, G4 also makes other Extra Añejos. This is the base one. They have a five-year that is 90 proof, which is an excellent Extra Añejo, but we stuck with the 80 proof. Again, keep everything in the same proof range. And then finally, Tequila Ocho, Extra Añejo on the end there. What do you guys think? Excited? So you're telling me you just got the cheaper stuff? Some of them. Some of them, yeah. I want the more expensive stuff. Well, you know what? You can tell our viewers that you're super rich and you're going to buy them all the most expensive tequilas and they then we'll be know super that happy. already. No? Nothing? <laughs> which, which camera are you going to wow, look at? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. So we're going to get these open. We're going to get them poured. I'm going to pour them. Jules is going to label the bottles. Dylan's going to go take a siesta. And we'll be back in a jiffy. And we're going to try to determine what the best extra Añejo amongst these is. And everybody left me alone to do whatever the heck I want. <laughs> That's dangerous. Here we go. Let me do it. All right. So as these guys are hiding away, I'm going to show you guys a close-up of all the bottles real quick. So first up, the Arete Gran Clasa. That's what that bad boy looks like. Now this is the newer labeling on this. It used to be a white labeling. This is the newer one. Uh, El Tesoro, Extra Neo. This is what the bottle looks like. It's got kind of a light blue motif to it. Beautiful bottle. G4, Extra Neo. Look at that. With the black label. Looks so sweet. Awesome. And finally, Tequila Ocho. Look at that. Gold everywhere. It looks so cool. Now, this is the 2018. Um, there's some older iterations. I haven't seen one newer than this, but um, I'm going to get pouring. You're going to run off. And uh, back in a jiffy. Uh, these have been poured and labeled. I poured, Jules labeled. We don't know which is what. We're now going to taste them and we're going to pick our favorite. We're going to rank them one through four and we're going to venture guesses as to what is what. Uh, we've got a yellow, a green, a blue, and a red. Guys, get tasting as I pick my nose. This was amazing. It was a proper blind. Are you we, trying to burp? Uh, I'm trying to just make some sense of this. Now, we did pour them in black Glencairn glasses. Now, we usually use our tequila tasting glasses, which we don't have up here. We will pop what? a link in our description. If you want to buy proper tequila tasting glasses from Riedel, they're amazing. We have nothing to do with them. But we do have oh, a, the scotch a, ones. They're just yeah. not black. We do have an affiliate link, but they don't make black ones, which we would love. 
These are black line Karens, which provide pretty much the same experience. And this way we won't get, you know, the color of the different uh, extra añejos to, to guide us. So, man, I loved all four of these. Me all too. four were They all had fantastic. different aspects that I really enjoyed. Yeah, so, and so I, I mean, I, and it was really hard to rank them. I agree. Yeah. Because yeah. how do you rank, like, one's better than the other one? They're, like, different. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I did end up coming down with a yeah, ranking. I had to come up with something. And let's get to that. But let's first, let's break this down into aroma, palette, and then we'll get to the ranking. So starting with aroma, mm -hmm. you know, I had guesses on all four. Mm -hmm. And it didn't change when I went to the palette. Mm -hmm. um, but honestly, aroma of all four was excellent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, my... I don't know that I had a strong preference. Maybe... I think mm. red and green maybe stood out. <laughs> really? Maybe red is the favorite. I don't know. Oh, because yeah. it's exactly the same. Red and green. Red and green two arrows. Yeah, I didn't anything. really. I didn't really rank the nose. Honestly, I yeah, kind of yeah. forgot. But. Yeah. And then yeah, I mean, then third would be yellow. Blue was, and but don't get me wrong. Blue was still They're very all enjoyable. Really good. Yeah. I just like I was picking like at the nuances again of things I was picking up. If anything, I thought blue had more sweetness for me on the uh, aroma. And then also, the, I, I kind of lost a lot of the agave, mm. you know, the agave core compared to the others. It's still there, but... Yeah, I mean, red had just had the cooked yeah. richness to it that mm. I really yeah. liked. Interesting. All right, Dylan. Yeah, I, I think the red stood out. Um, I think it was an outlier for me. The other colors, I thought, had similar variations kind of on the same spectrum in terms of the sweetness. Um, ultimately, I thought the green stood out for me mm. in terms of... You know, what I was looking for is, it's not necessarily depth of flavor, it's mm -hmm. more of the balance of flavors, mm -hmm. and I, I thought the green was a better presentation for me. The green had, like, more components. Yeah. But I felt like the red was richer for me. Me too. For me. Interesting. Me too. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. So you picked green, you and I both picked red? Yep, yeah. on, on the nose. All right, let's move on to the palette. I had distinct notes for each of these. It was so interesting. So I'll just go... Uh, from my left to right, camera right to left, yellow, mint, mm -hmm. green, sugar, blue, kind of mellow in some ways. Everything kind of blended together, but it was it was still <laughs> really enjoyable. Yeah. And then red, just I wrote down syrupy because it was like mm -hmm. the most unctuous. Ultimately on the palette, I did pick the red. Well, what you were saying earlier, what? I guess, is wrong, Dutch, because I chose red, too. So, spoiler alert. Just go down the line. Whoa. Red, I found, ultimately, whoa, whoa. the most whoa. delicious. <laughs> really? Yeah, I mean, that's yeah. the word I could think of it to describe it. Um, blue was funny, because blue, I put, felt more exploratory for me and how, like, they were treating the agave. Um, green was the actually the runner-up. Really close run up for me on the palette. Agreed. Um, this, it, but ultimately I chose red because I think um, the depth was greater than green, even though green presented Agreed. very similar. Uh, yellow, uh, again, it was actually third um, in my lineup. And I didn't really, I mean, it just wasn't, I guess, memorable kind of thing compared to red and green. So mm, interesting. Well, we get the rating, yeah. ranking. I'll talk a little more about that. But Dylan, what was your favorite? Yeah, so it was really down to red and green. I was Agreed. going back and forth, Agreed. back and forth. I was just like, okay, what do I pick? Do I pick green, which basically I thought was rich, ripe syrup? Uh, do I go for the red, which has the, like a really good balance in terms of the palette? Mm. I mean, both balance was actually pretty good. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm not saying yellow and blue are bad, yeah. but it's, right. it was just kind of relatively speaking. Of, yeah. Once again, reason why blinds are a little bit tricky because you're just basically just comparing with whatever you get you know, presented, presented to you. Yep. It could be all crap, and then you say this is the better of the crap, or right. it could be, you know, all good, and yet other pe other uh, really good yeah. um, expressions all could be amazing. Like, yeah, they're yeah. all really fantastic. You know, I, I I could flip a coin. I would say because both of you guys picked red, I would probably pick green, um, <laughs> just because I think it needs to be represented a little bit. I hear what you're saying. I, I thought, yeah, I mean, I I could see why the red is red is red could be a favorite yeah right i mean it has it has uh components that a like a whiskey drink whiskey drinker would love yeah um it's where a tequila connoisseur would say okay i appreciate this and this is a very good look up the agave corp well crafted well crafted yeah. so yeah. I, I mean like the 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 verde is 
That's your pick. Yeah, that's my pick. All right. Well, let's rank now. So we're okay. gonna we're gonna venture guesses and we're gonna rank one through four. All right. You guys ready to do this? Go. Yeah. Should I go? Let's go. All right. Drum roll. Number one for me was <laughs> was red. Mm -hmm. Number two was green. Mm -hmm. Number three was yellow. Now Ooh. yellow and green, which means number four is blue. Yellow mm -hmm. and green were so close for me because in some ways yellow was more mm. unique. Mm -hmm. Like it had this unique component of the mint, mm. which I enjoyed, but ultimately the green was just a better expression mm. than the yellow. Okay. Red was the winner. No okay. question for me. Okay. No, I, I would say question. Green and red, very close, but yeah. So red one, green mm -hmm. two, yellow three, blue Interesting. four. Okay. My guesses, mm -hmm. red was Arete, mm -hmm. Classe. Interesting. Um, blue was El Tesoro. Mm -hmm. Green was Ocho. Mm -hmm. And yellow was G4. <laughs> what did all these sounds mean? <laughs> Nothing. Right. Jules, rank, other than rank, rank and guess. Other than rank, it's exactly the same as you. What? Red is one, green is two, yellow is three, blue is four. Wow. Exactly first, that. I think that's the first time in all these Seriously, that you've lines. actually lined up. Yeah. Um, guess All right. Guess is, I think red's Ocho. Mm. I think blue is El Tesoro, so you and I have the same on that. Agree. Uh, green, I think, is G4. Mm. And that, that means yellow, I think, is Arrete. Interesting. Interesting. Dylan, you're up, man. Pressure's on. Okay. So Break them. <clears throat> I picked um, the verde. Green is one. Yeah. And then the roja. Red is two. Um, Hang on, I gotta write these down. I mean, this is really tricky because do you pick the blue or the amarillo? Um, yellow Azul. or blue? You know, I'll pick I'll pick blue and then yellow. So blue, blue is three, is yellow three, is four. So, so green, what is this? Red. Green, red, roja. blue, yellow for you? Yeah. That's what I would pick. All right, I'm going to tally our totals. Do we have to guess what we're... Yeah, what's your guess? Oh, yeah, Did guess you guess too. already? Yeah. Um, so I thought the red was going to be uh, uh, arete. Mm. Arete. Um, Just same as you did. Yep. Um, the blue, I thought it was uh, El Tesoro. Oh, we tesoro. all agreed on that one. Um, I have to go with uh, green as ocho because Agreed. for some reason we guessed exactly I keep, the same. I keep picking ocho. We guessed exactly. So the that's same. why I thought exactly. the, the that's about right. The amarillo is G four, I guess. That always. Yeah, I mean, I, I thought I, I, I was questioning whether the red was G four in the beginning, but yeah, you know, I think so. Based on points, um, red is our winner. Green is our runner up, um, and then it's yellow and then blue. Oh, all right. All right. So that is the I rating. Can't, can't so how you and I rated it is how, exactly. how it went down because we both rated exactly the same. Yep. You guys guessed the same. <sighs> should we? I swapped. Should we see what's up? Let's go. I just want to know if uh, the, what is it? The red, red is arete. All right. Well, we're going to start from the bottom. So our last place was blue. Oh, is it? Yes. Um, which we all enjoyed, I gotta say. I enjoyed the heck out and of it. And we all thought it was El Tesoro. We all thought it was El Tesoro. So blue is... Arrete? Not El Tesoro. No way. It's Arrete? It's not Blue in last place is... Ocho. <laughs> it's Arrete? <laughs> Ocho. Oh my god. In the last place. Ocho, really? Oh my god. Yeah, I'm, su I'm as surprised as you guys are. Ocho oh, in four. Red, blue is Ocho. Okay. Fine. Oh, wow. Gosh. That's surprising, man. That's really, That's really surprising. surprising. Okay. In third place. Very sweet. Which was yellow. Yellow was. <sighs> but we're all way off. G4. Yellow was Arete. Oh, I got that one. You did? Yeah. Nicely little, done, little, dude. Wow. Yellow was a hit. What? Wow. I know, man. I am. Uh, wow. Mm. Dude, don't tell me red is. Uh, G4. I get it on the nose now. Don't red tell me G4. G4. All right, so my, my guesses are way or screwed up. El Tesoro. All right, so uh, green and red are our are, are winner and runner up. Oh, We're yeah, gonna just go to the winner. We're going to go to the winner, which was red. Oh, my God. Is it G4? Which was. Oh, my is God. Is it G4? It's G4. Colorist all surprised. 
No G four. No. We can, we can, I put I put G four first. Meaning second place. Wow. Was wow. This one completely flipped. Uh, completely flipped everything like I thought everything. about these bottles. Seriously, guys. Completely. I will this say that the uh, the uh, the Delta Zorro cap fell apart <laughs> while we were doing the tasting. But man, winner G four. Wow. Holy crap. What the Blue? heck? I'm sorry, the red was G4. Yeah. Wow. Amazing. So with the original, original you know what? So that doesn't mean, wow. We should have realized this, because I don't know if you guys remember during our drink through how blown away we yeah, are with you. Mm. I, I, I com- the I non, kind of, not the non five year. The right? non five year. I remember just remembering just like mm. how blown away we were. It. I mean, they're all really great, oh my to gosh. be honest. And you're not going to go wrong with any all of these. Amazing. That's the reason why we pick them. Yeah. <laughs> and we're we're focusing hey, on the minutia, but first one the G four one, extra yeah, nail, maybe the one that. Counts. I mean, I thought I thought the G four. To be honest, I thought G four Reposado was gonna go beyond. Mm. I've given a lot of G four Reposado as gifts, and all the folks that have received it, they just love it. I mean, yeah. they feel like it's great. I used to get it Dude, for what, what the heck I mean, happened? I, I was for forty bucks. I was convinced that the Arete was gonna win this. Me too. Me too. That's why. That's why I yeah. switched from. Look at. I wrote. Yeah, you had, look. Uh, I wrote G four right here. Yellow. That was the yellow. I wrote G four and then switched to arete because I was. But like, smell it again, and think of arete. Yeah. Just smell the yellow. Yellow. And you're like, yep, that's the arete on the nose. You get it. <laughs> Suggestion, man. Uh, I don't know. That's why he's so blind, weird, man. man. Because on the palate, I got so much mint, and now yeah. I'm tasting it. Not as much, right? <laughs> Power <laughs> suggestion, man. But like, I'm not tasting the mint anymore. <laughs> It's there, like in the very back. <laughs> oh, God. It is I still love minty. It. I love it. It's really still minty. Oh it's still minty. Extremely minty. But when we had it by itself, I don't <sighs> feel like we got that. I don't feel like it red is minty when we had it by itself. I don't itself. think I no, even described did. it as that. Yeah. I got everything wrong. I got everything wrong. You got one right. Got, yeah. What'd you one. get right? Arete. I mean, look, look. And I, I ranked I, that I did, third. I did write. I did write. <laughs> G four. Right there. G four. No, Whatever, Dylan. I wrote G four uh, right there, but. You know, yeah, I I, uh, I I don't think I ever would have guessed that. This is so good. Jeez. And not the most expensive. <laughs> it's great. Yeah, I think the Arete is... Uh, sorry, I think the Ocho is probably the most expensive of these. I gotta. I also just have to reiterate that any one of these four... They're great. You're going to yes, enjoy great. the heck out of it. We They're were all picking it. very, very good tequilas. It's a fun time. But I don't... I mean, I don't think any of us would have picked... G4. No. The problem with G4, with the exception of the Rosado, my my recollection was that you get a lot of the earthy component. Yeah, I, but, and so no. and so then you're like, oh, that earthy oh component gosh. usually ends up um, kind of overwhelming, and it may not be as palatable, and therefore it'll get killed in blinds. But for some reason today, stood it out. just stood so, out. Um, so good. I mean, I picked wow. what? I picked green, though, which was what? Green was the uh, El Tesoro, surprising. Okay, so the cheapest one. Tesoro. So Dylan is a, a man of the people, truly. <laughs> yeah, the all, as always. El Tesoro. Uh, yeah, so El Tesoro, you get it for around 99 Actually, the, the G4 you sometimes you yeah, can find for fine. pretty cheap, yeah. too. So these are actually the bargain ones. Right. And our two favorites. Yeah. I think I'm gonna have to hands down the top two. This gifts then. Yeah! Wow. I liked it. I, liked I it a lot. am. I liked it. Shocked by the way this went. I'm really shocked by the way this all Ooh. hit the palate Crazy side by guys. side. Really... I, I am kind of surprised the arete, you know, kind of didn't do as well as I thought it would. Yeah. I mean the ocho. I've never tried. I've never tried ocho. I never purchased it. So that one really confounded the situation, but uh, kudos to G Four man, it came back. Yeah, like it was kind of quiet in the old, all the other ones, and then and then it just kind of roared back. And it's yeah, I mean that's what's kind of kind of interesting. Like Arete blew us out with the Rapa, yeah. The Ocho blew us out with the Enyeo and the Blanco. Yeah, the Alto Soro was I think second place in a always number of kind them. of yeah, yeah. always, always like kind right of lingering, there. always lingering. And then G Four was always kind of like eh, in the background, yeah. in the background. Yeah. Fortaleza got murdered. Yeah, Fortaleza was I think third place in a couple of them, but man. Gotta give credit to G4. Fantastic job. Fantastic G4. Should be happy. All right, Jules, take it out. Tell us what you guys think in the (laughs) comments below. Try this at home and let us know too. Yeah. I mean, seriously, guys, you gotta try this. 
Um, let us know if you get just as confused as we did. Uh, give us a thumbs up, thumbs down. Either way, let us know how you feel. Subscribe for more videos from Curiosity Public. If you want to help us out, please consider joining Curiosity Private, the membership program here on YouTube. We're also on Patreon. And we are selling t-shirts. Links in the description. Great way to help our channel out. Uh, we also have a podcast on all the major podcast platforms out there. As always, stay safe, stay healthy. Stay curious. You should try that um, metal, El Himidor. Yeah, I don't want to. I missed out. Just try a little sip. That's a 30, 30, what was it, 35%? 30, I thought it was 38. 38? The Mexico release metal label El Himidor. This was before El Himidor went south right yeah i mean the aroma is definitely just pure agave for an idea. i mean sugary but i don't know i feel like g4 would beat this <laughs> oh well yeah but dude this is an extra anejo that's a regular anejo yeah. that was like a 20 dollar anejo it's beating a hundred dollar extra anejo uh, it definitely doesn't taste like 20 dollars it tastes like it tastes 70, like 70 could, to 80 they could dollar hang with these guys yeah, yeah, that's what i mean sure. like that's pretty impressive Man, G4, dude. What the heck? Again. Blown away. It's such a clean presentation. Himador? G4? No, the Himador. Oh, yeah. It's really good, huh? Very, very clean.